At first glance, it might seem that the most iconic horror villains are male. However, while the horror genre may be better known for its heroines, we should not overlook the fact that women can also be equally fearsome villains, and there are far more of them than one might expect. The female creatures featured in this ranking can be just as terrifying if not more so than their male counterparts, having scared us since the early days of horror. The horror genre includes wicked women ranging from creepy supernatural entities to alien creatures. For this reason, I have taken it upon myself to compile a list of seven of the most beautiful, yet also most terrifying and dangerous women to present to you in this ranking. Number 7. Dren, Splice 2009 Dren is a human-animal hybrid created by two young rebellious scientists in the horror and science fiction film Splice. Scientists Clive Nicoli and Elsa Cast engineered Dren in their lab, using a mix of human and animal DNA. It is later disclosed that Dren's human DNA comes from Elsa's genetic code. She was created with a donated egg and chimera DNA, which was previously used to create the creatures named Fred and Ginger. Dren undergoes rapid growth, reaching full maturity within weeks. She is an agile creature, sporting a regenerating stinger-tipped tail, two hind legs and four fingers on each hand. Eventually, she reveals a pair of wings and a spiky hood on the back of her neck, but otherwise appears human. Dren is highly intelligent, picking up and spelling out words, displaying drawing skills, and showing a keen interest in dancing. Her final growth stage involves a gender transformation from female to male. In the film's climax, Dren is shown to be capable of speech, telling Elsa inside you before assaulting her. Clive attempts to stab Dren to stop him. However, Dren pulls out the stake he was stabbed with and attacks Clive. Elsa then strikes Dren on the head with a rock. Just before she hits him again to kill him, Dren makes eye contact with Elsa as he pierces Clive's heart. After Dren's death, it is revealed that Elsa is pregnant with Dren's offspring. Number 6. Ginger Fitzgerald Ginger Snaps, 2000 In Ginger Snaps, a Canadian horror film from 2000, werewolves are the central focus of the story, showcasing their transformation from humans into fierce creatures. Set in Bailey Downs, Canada and surrounded by mysterious dog deaths, the plot follows teenage sisters Ginger and Bridget Fitzgerald, who are obsessed with death. A tragic turn occurs when Ginger is attacked by a werewolf, leading to her gradual descent under the curse. Unlike the instant transformations caused by the full moon, Ginger's change is slow and painful, akin to puberty. After being bitten, she displays physical and behavioral changes, such as hair, fangs, and a tail, along with a dangerous enthusiasm for the pleasures of life. The film closely follows her transformation up to Halloween night, ending with Bridget in an urgent search for a cure. The transformation process in Ginger Snaps is depicted with raw and relentless realism, noted for its prolonged duration and the emotional torment it inflicts on both sisters. Ginger's metamorphosis is not only physical, but profoundly affects her relationships, especially with Bridget, who remains determined to save her sister despite the growing horror of what she is becoming. As Halloween approaches, Ginger's humanity fades, and her complete transformation into a werewolf in the back of a van marks a point of no return. Number 5. Jennifer Check, Jennifer's Body, 2009 Jennifer Check was a high school student who became an unwitting sacrifice by the satanic band Low Shoulder, turning her into a succubus. To sustain her life and nourish her strength, she seduced young men on her school campus to feed on their flesh and blood. She is from a small U.S. town named Devil's Kettle and became best friends with a girl named Anita. As they grew up, Jennifer became the popular girl, while Anita became more of a quiet type. One night, they attended a Melody Lane performance by a band called Low Shoulder. The lead singer, Nikolai Wolf, showed interest in Jennifer because he mistakenly believed she was a virgin. Unbeknownst to her and others, the band were Satanists looking for a virgin to sacrifice to Satan in exchange for a record deal. During their performance, the bar mysteriously caught fire, completely destroying it and killing nearly everyone inside. After Anita and Jennifer escaped the bar, the band members took Jennifer in their van. Inside the van, Jennifer saw occult books and various satanic items that scared her. 
Once deep in the woods, Jennifer unsuccessfully attempted to escape. The musicians forced her to the ground, tied her up, chanted spells before brutally stabbing her to death. Unbeknownst to the band, Jennifer was not a virgin. Instead of dying, she was possessed by a succubus that granted her superhuman strength, speed, seduction, beauty, and immortality. However, she needed to feed on human flesh, particularly that of young men, to maintain her eternal youth or else she would decay and die. Jennifer was popular and often asked out by boys. Although she could sometimes be oblivious and insensitive, she also deeply cared for her friends, especially Anita, her best and only friend. During her succubus-induced hunger, she refrained from feasting on Anita and fled. Number 4. Julie Walker Return of the Living Dead 3, 1993 Julie Walker is a fictional zombie and one of the main characters in the 1993 feature film Return of the Living Dead 3. Julie Walker was the girlfriend of Kurt Reynolds. She accompanied Kurt when they broke into a military base where Kurt's father worked. This facility was conducting scientific experiments on human corpses using a gas known as triaxin, which reanimated the dead. When the deceased began to rise, the military lost control of the situation and the zombies overwhelmed the facility. Kurt and Julie managed to escape before learning the full extent of this chaos. Sometime later, while riding Kurt's motorcycle, Kurt lost control, resulting in a crash that killed Julie on impact. Devastated, Kurt took Julie's corpse to the military lab and used triaxin to bring her back to life. Upon leaving the facility, they discussed alternatives to the undead's need to consume human flesh. The two got involved in an altercation with some gang members in a store, resulting in the store owner being shot. Julie's unnatural impulses overwhelmed her, and she attacked the shooter, voraciously devouring his exposed brain. As Kurt and Julie continued to flee from the remaining gang members, Julie discovered that intense pain could suppress her need for human brains. As a result, she began to pierce and decorate her body with various sharp objects to stave off her cravings for human flesh. Julie had a second altercation with the gang and used the various spikes and nails adorning her body as weapons. The military caught up and neutralized all the other gang members, who had been killed by Julie and subsequently reanimated as zombies. Kurt and Julie returned to the base, but Kurt realized the military would turn Julie into a weapon for their own ends. He released the captured zombies, who then attacked the soldiers. In the ensuing chaos, the base caught fire and one of the zombies bit Kurt. Kurt's father tried to get him to leave, but Kurt knew the bite meant he was now infected and would turn into a zombie himself. Kurt took Julie to the boiler room. When Julie asked where they were, he replied, where we belong. They shared a final kiss before dying by immolation. Number three, the nurses, Silent Hill franchise. The nurses are a recurring type of monster and a staple of the Silent Hill series, appearing in some form in every title except Silent Hill Shattered Memories. They are visually similar across the series and share many common traits, with only the original Silent Hill being an exception due to the yet-to-be-established continuity that becomes more defined in Silent Hill 2. Along with Pyramid Head, they are among the most well-known and significant monsters of the franchise. These creatures manifest in the town of Silent Hill, which acts as a mirror to anxieties and fears. Due to recurring themes of hospitalization, madness, and death, each game typically features a journey to one of Silent Hill's two hospitals, Alcamilla Hospital, which houses the town's emergency room in Old Silent Hill, or Brookhaven Hospital long catering to terminal and mentally ill patients in South Vale. Invariably, once inside the hospital, the player encounters monsters manifested by the town that resemble deformed and disfigured nurses. The nurses share many common traits throughout the series, with both major and minor alterations that reflect the mentality and personality traits of the game's protagonist, and in some cases, such as in the original Silent Hill, other characters. Typically, these monsters wear uniforms that mirror those of contemporary nurses. Though in the first Silent Hill game, the nurses wear a much older form of attire, including cardigans instead of modern nursing gowns. Number 2. Aminette. The Mummy 2017. Aminette, also known as Princess Aminette, is the main antagonist of the 2017 movie The Mummy. 
She is a powerful mummy from ancient Egypt endowed with dark, divine powers resurrected from the dead in her quest for world domination. Her revival as the reanimated mummy was the result of striking a deal with Set, the Egyptian god of death, to grant her dark powers that allowed her to cheat death itself. Amenet was born in 3000 BC. She was the daughter of Pharaoh Menapter and his wife. However, Amenet's mother died as a result of childbirth. With no other heirs, Menapter promised Amenet that she would ascend to his throne as queen upon his death. As such, she was trained both physically and mentally day and night, becoming a beautiful, cunning and ruthless princess and future queen. However, in 2983 BC, Menapter had a son with his second wife. This newborn son, being a male, led Menapter to retract his promise to Amenet, naming the boy as his heir and leaving Amenet heartbroken and betrayed. This, of course, effectively ruined the princess's claim to the throne. Enraged and determined to usurp the throne by any means necessary, she turned to dark paths, selling her soul to Set, the Egyptian god of chaos and death, who promised to make her queen in exchange for securing a corporeal form for him. Through a ritual involving the undead, Set granted Amenet his dagger, the source of all her unholy powers and the catalyst for Set to enter a host through its essence. After executing her family, Amenet prepared to perform a human sacrifice, giving away her lover's life in order to complete her pact with Set. However, she was captured by the priests loyal to her father and condemned to be buried alive far from Egypt in Mesopotamia. Wary of any calamity that would consume the world if her body was disturbed, Menapter's priests managed to seal her body in a secret underground prison. The area where she was buried was rich in liquid mercury, her only weakness. Her sarcophagus, bearing a daimonic design, was arranged so it would be constantly submerged in a pool of mercury to keep her weakened and cut off from the outside world. Not only that, but all those involved in the ritual erased her name from Egypt's history books and kept the location of Amenet's tomb a secret. Though surviving clues to the tomb's location fell into the hands of English crusaders when they attacked Egypt during one of their campaigns, Amenet would remain alive in that tomb for 5,000 years and her wrath never diminished. Amenet's defining traits are her ambition, cruelty, and the megalomaniac complex behind her charisma. She is a power-hungry and vengeful princess, willing to do anything to become the ruler of Egypt and later, the entire world, even if it means murdering those who stand in her way, including her own family, and deliberately making a pact with Set, despite knowing it would lead to a life cursed for eternity. Moreover, due to her cruelty, Almanet apparently lacked the desire to ensure the happiness and prosperity of others, a trait possessed by a true ruler. This, combined with her pact with Set, led Menapter's priest to bury her alive far from Egypt and deliberately erase her name from their history books in the first place. Number 1. Sil. Species 1995. Zil species are an unnamed, sexually aggressive alien race that attempts to spread throughout the universe by infiltrating, reproducing, and annihilating the intelligent populations of other planets. It can grow rapidly and merge its DNA with that of other creatures through mating, reproduction, and other forms of genetic contact. The most notable hybrid created by this species was Sil, which was engineered by merging human DNA with alien DNA, inducing rapid growth that caused Sil to form into a visible fetus in just one day. In less than a month, she became a girl on the verge of puberty. Sil exhibited great speed and strength but also suffered from terrible nightmares induced by her alien DNA. She later claimed that the nightmares told her who she really was. Eventually, the research team decided that creating Syl was a mistake and attempted to poison her with cyanide gas. Syl escaped from the laboratory where she was created and, while fleeing, transformed into an adult by forming a brown, flesh-like cocoon, resembling her pure alien form. She was horrified by this development, and the process appeared to be very painful. After a few hours, she emerged from her cocoon completely naked, but also fully developed as an adult woman. Although still somewhat timid and uneasy, Syl was able to rapidly adapt to her environment, displaying incredible cunning while blending into society. Syl also demonstrated an incredible ability to assimilate knowledge simply by touching objects. For example, within seconds, she could assimilate entire books merely by touch. 
This phenomenon is never explained. In addition to accelerating her growth rate, increasing her intellect and memory retention, and enhancing her physical abilities, the alien DNA also greatly enhanced the most basic animal instinct, the need to procreate. Soon, Sil's alien libido took over, and in an almost constant state of fertility, she attempted to mate with human males. Her human form is merely a disguise, and her true alien form is an exotic, sensual, and alien amalgam of the human form. Her form is chitinous and reptilian, reminiscent of xenomorphs, yet still humanoid. Her hair is a mass of prehensile tentacles that flow back from her head. She has two sets of teeth, razor sharp on the inside. Her breasts, instead of storing fat or mammary glands, house long, slimy tentacles that emerge from her nipples. She can use her chest tentacles as weapons, but they are also used in her amorous mating ritual. Sil has long, sharp spines on her back that she can retract and extend at will. These seem to be used as a weapon by Eve in the second movie. Last but not least, Sil's infamous tongue. Her long tongue has sharp tips and is her primary defense mechanism or weapon. When threatened, she can simply impale her aggressor with her tongue. This kiss of death is shown at least once. Sil's alien form is also capable of holding her breath underwater for an extended period. Sil eventually seduces and successfully copulates with Arden and gives birth to a son a few hours later. While in labor, her abdomen swells slightly with the rapid development of her son, and her chest begins to separate. At the moment of birth, Sil's rib cage opens and splits apart to reveal her newborn son. However, Sil's son does not survive long and dies minutes after birth. There remains some speculation on how the Sil species conceives and what traits are passed on. Due to the changing nature of the species and the various variations in subsequent generations, there is no way to know for sure. Hey, don't go just yet. If you enjoyed my video, I'd love to recommend another one for you to watch.